concern you, however, though, that state and federal aid is not covering all of the cost and that districts are relying more and more heavily on local taxpayers to... Yes, it does, and I think what, if it's going to go that direction, then they should loosen the reins a little bit and let districts have more say in how they operate their district. And whether that time will ever come, I don't know, but they like to make the rules but are not funding all those mandated rules. So yes, it is a concern. Well, because state funding is determined by enrollment, can you guys give me a picture of what the district's enrollment trends look like right now? We're happy that we've stabilized, whereas we went through a year, like eight years, of losing 30 to 35 students. It's translated to uh, approximately 300 students, uh, 250 to 300, probably around 300 students that we lost uh, since the uh, since that last referendum. Um, uh, now uh, we've we've been able to stabilize that, uh, but you know, looking the other day. Uh, in 2002, in some of the class sizes, we had a class of 190, we had classes of 180, we had classes of 175, um, and then the, the little ones were starting to come in. And then uh, over time, those big ones left, and um, you, uh, uh, if you still want to run um, FFA, AG, uh, uh, FAX, business, those electives in industrial tech, uh, you can't do it with a part-time teacher. There are no part-time teachers that do that. You have to have a full-time teacher. So we might, it could happen where you might have uh, a couple less kids in a class than you did uh, 10 years ago, uh, but you do, you still have a teacher. So those are some extra costs that we bear in order. That's where we talk about programs, that uh, we want to be able to maintain that. We want to be able to have a teacher um, if there's a if there's a couple less kids on the football team, then uh, 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 a couple years or eight years ago, uh, we don't want to cut a bunch of coaches uh, because we think we need uh, we need that supervision. So uh, um, we it's difficult just to take the number of kids that you lost and say okay now we're going to chop one eighth of a teacher. Uh, we're not. We can't do that because we're not going to be able to attract the people that come here. And we've been very fortunate to attract teachers and good teachers to come not only work here but live here. You know, we talk in our uh, in our presentations. Eighty three percent of our staff, that includes teachers, everybody, the teacher assistant secretaries, we're about three hundred people, a little bit more. Eighty three percent live here, uh, and that is, that is really rare. And they come here, they live here, they buy houses here, they spend money here, they go downtown here, they pay their taxes here, they join churches here, they join organizations here. Uh, the value of that in regard to growing and making this community prosper is important. Now, if we delay that or don't do that and, and reduce, continue to reduce, we don't bring people here, there's an effect on the community. And I think if you look at over the years, what organization has brought in the most people in this community to live here and work here, it'd be the school district. Uh, I don't, I, I, though that we haven't done any survey, but just anecdotally, if you look at it, since we are probably the largest employer, um, we probably have the greatest impact in regard to that type of thing. But, uh, and you know, you come every, every August to take pictures of our, new, of our new teachers. And, you know, we have, you know, over the years, we've had quite a few of them. Uh, you know, come here, so you, you see that yourself. So we find that uh, obviously to offer uh, value here in our community just by the fact that these new people come here and live here and uh, make it their home. So you mentioned that you're doing these community presentations to groups um, about the levy in addition to having the brochure come out and reach every home. Um, what are some of the most commonly asked questions? What are the cuts? What are the cuts? We hear that. What will what will be the tax impact on the homes or whatever I have business or home? And we're we're uh, you want to get the transparency? We have our own calculator on our website. You can put in your own amount, and you'll get it. You know what it'll be. Um, uh, I'd say the the question you asked about, you know, why we had a 
levy in 2002. Why do we need this one now? Why Why didn't that one last 10 years? Right. And which is a legitimate question, uh, you know, to uh, to explain. In your opinion, how reasonable is this request that the district is asking for voters? In the in the whole scheme of things, we are asking for something that is under the state average. Mm -hmm. uh, we are asking uh, the voters to support uh, a district that uh, over many years has been under the state average, well under the state average in regard to student spending, uh, that, has been, that has been frugal, that, that's made the reductions, uh, that uh, has uh, gone through uh, um, uh, a process of, of doing these reductions and looking at the budget. Um, Obviously, the recommendation and the discussion with the board that uh, I'd see it as quite reasonable. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing this. And because when the board was considering this and, and you were there in the discussion, and this is another question, I, get, I got this a couple of times. Why 600 or why an additional 300? Why not, why not more or why not this or why not that? And that is, that is, a, that is a very difficult tightrope because it's what you need versus what you think voters will accept. And the board, uh, in their job, that's, that was one of the more difficult, that's one of the more difficult things, is try to determine what will work, what, will, what will people will accept. And that's, that's what the board, in their best judgment, did. Uh, and that's the best answer uh, we, can, we can give, uh, because there's two things playing. What, what we need, what we think we can actually Given the conditions for 10 years, given the conditions now, this is what we think will happen. Versus, okay, now, uh, what do uh, what does the board think that uh, people will vote yes for? Looking ahead on your crystal ball, will this levy make it 10 years? Do you think? Given the conditions that we have now, we expect that if the conditions remain the same, and if we would get inflationary increases. Uh, it's something reasonable uh, from the state that it should be able to make it. Could there be surprises down the line? Could the, uh, you know, we you blindsided by special ed, especially last time. Um, could we be blindsided by something else? We certainly could. Uh, and again, I go back to this one would have lasted 10 years uh, if, if it wasn't for this, this unknown, you know, with special ed. Uh, but given the Conditions that we know about now, what we what we talk about with the board, what, what we know, that uh, that yes, that. And I think that the fact that our enrollment appears to have leveled off, I, being optimistic, I would think that we would continue to grow again now, which should be helpful. 